What is up guys, Lord Reesman here, welcome to the video. So in this video, we're gonna give an overview of Merit Points, the trade shop, everything that you can purchase there, as well as how to farm Merit Points so that you can use them in the trade shop and buy all of the amazing stuff in this shop. Now, in order to unlock the trade shop, which is right here, just left of the school or the, the area, I should say, that looks like a school, um, you need to be a one star and have completed at least the fifth mission. Once that happens, this will open and you can talk to Simona. Now, this area or this shop, you can actually trade your Pokemon. So if you want to trade Pokemon, you go to this area. But we are focused on the items in this shop. So you want to click on I want to get items. And this is where you get all of the evolutionary items. You can get a Pokeball. I don't know why, but you can get rare candy. All of the different stones to evolve some of the different um, other items that you might need to evolve something as well, such as Metal Coat, or they have a new item within the game called Linking Cord, and you can imagine any of the Pokemon that you needed to trade to evolve, you will use Linking Cord. Kind of a cool new item, a little throwback to the, to the older games there. But this is how you're going to get, mainly if you want to purchase them, Fire stones, water stones, thunder stones, etc. Now you can get these in drops from Pokemon, finding them um, throughout the map, etc. Uh, but space time distortions, all of that fun stuff. But the easiest way to do it is to get merit points and buy them in this shop. Now, what are merit points? Merit points are a new currency. You can see top right, I have 466. That you can get in this game by looking at this area right here called the lost and found now you don't have to be connected to the internet to do this uh, you can do this offline i'm currently offline and you will see all of these different tasks in the game and what these are and how you get merit points is by returning lost satchels and you can see there is a ton of them now if you're offline you're just gonna have generic names like this over and over and over again but if you go online it'll actually have players names but you can see here let's just start at the top you know, th this satchel right here is in Obsidian uh, Fieldlands, and you get 77 merit points for recovering this satchel. As you can see, if you do a lot of these, they can add up pretty quick, and it'll get you to that thousand. Also, you can see the reward for returning each of these satchels. If you do this one at the top, you get a medium experience candy, which is kind of cool. So as mentioned earlier, there was a lost satchel in this area, Obsidian Forest. And how to look for that is you want to go to your map and you will find these, well, satchel icons, I should say. It kind of looks like a treasure chest a little bit, but you will see these scattered around your map. You can see there's one at the top and then we have three at the bottom here. Some of them, depending on where you're at in the game, you might not be able to get, you know, depending on, you know, if you can surf or not, you might not be able to get this one, but... Once you unlock all of that, you should be in, in a good place to get everything. So we're going to go over here. You can see this is Ava's Lost Satchel. So what you want to do is head over to that area and find the satchel. Again, once you pick it up and you redeem it, which we'll go over in a second, then you will be able to start getting merit points. You can see here. Just following the guide, here's a satchel on the ground. And again, if you go to your map, you can see I'm right over the satchel. You can even zoom in a little bit to get a better understanding of where it's at. All you have to do is walk up to it, pick it up, and then you're going to go to your menu, and you'll see lost and found. And you can hit, you can press A on it, and then you can claim it. And for there, we got 77 merit points. You can see it added to my total up there. We're coming up on the last satchel in this area, so we're going to go ahead and collect that one. And then you want to go and take a look at your map. You will see that there are zero satchels in this area left because we collected them all, right? So what do you want to do is, one, you want to make sure that you redeem all of it. So we're going to go ahead and take all of these points. You can see we got 90 there. We got, you know, 52 here. And then the last one, we were able to get 100. So a, a fair amount of points there. Um, that we were able to collect. After you collect all of the satchels in a given area, you want to go back to the village. And the reason why you want to do that is because it is going to reset the satchels. As you can see here, we just finished all of them in Ascidian Fieldlands, and now you can see that we have four more already geared up 
in the area. So let's go ahead and see. We're going to go to this area again. Just going to pick a random camp. And this is how you're going to farm satchels. You're going to do this over and over again. You can also fly to them. It's going to be much quicker if you do fly to them. Um, but you can see that, you know, we have another satchel right up here. You can see two more down here and then one way at the bottom. So that's the best way that I've found to farm these satchels is just go into an area, get all of them, and then go back out, come back in, and you'll have three to four nearly every time per area. Once you unlock Graviary, you can just fly to them, and it's a lot quicker that way. But again, if you want to use Weird Ear, it does not take that long, to be honest with you. But there you have it, guys. That is going to be an overview of Merit Points, what they do, how to get them, and a quick little hack on how you can kind of get a ton of them in a very, very short period of time. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you all on the next video. Later!